we had meetings face to face and, uh, and we check hands and we are talking all the time. The special envoy is trying to drag them into, into political process, bring them out of their bushes to this process to accept that they should be a responsible factor to build the, the, the durable peace in Yemen. And what we are doing in, in, in Sweden is to look for implemental, implementable steps uh, towards durable peace in Yemen. So this step-by-step -step, uh, approach is bringing the Houthis uh, to accept that there is no way for them to continue the war in Yemen. And the war is not the solution in Yemen, but peace is, should be the, the solution. And peace can only be gained through uh, a, a very hard discussion uh, on the table of negotiation. And this is what we are doing in Sweden. Yeah, yeah, leaving this weather, it will be the best thing we can do. Uh, the framework is talking about the, the, the process of uh, sequencing uh, military and security arrangements before and making that military and security arrangement implementable so before we can go further to talk about political uh, arrangements. Uh, we don't think that there should be a, a big uh, difficulty in, in, in agreeing on political issues, but first of all, we need to have uh, a security and, 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 and military agreement where as the Houthi should uh, hand back arms and ammunition to the state and the state should be the only uh, uh, um, f factor of using force and uh, not the militias. We cannot accept in Yemen a militia like the style of Hezbollah uh, to, 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 to survive within the state uh, at the same time. Uh, making the, 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 the deciding the faith of the many people. Yeah, this is how they squeeze you into a cold uh, and, and into freezing weather so that you can you can implement and you can achieve something. We accept uh, the Houthis as a political movement to be uh, present with all the, the, the other components of the political uh, fabric of the nation, but we cannot accept them as a militia. Uh, this is, this is the, 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 the basically the threat. And uh, we say that if they hand back uh, uh, missiles and uh, the heavy um, uh, arm and, uh, and, and uh, everything they looted from, uh, from the military institutions of the state, then they will be part of the political uh, arrangement. Yeah, we are talking. Actually, when you talk to them, there will be no UN force. There is no peacekeeping operation in, in, in Yemen. Well, Yemen will never accept uh, the, such uh, a military presence of the United Nations or the, the, the Blue Helmet, as they call it. No, what we will agree that they should withdraw. Our forces will, will reposition uh, uh, themselves into our barracks out of, out of the skirts of the city. So we, the police will take uh, care of the rest. Uh, we are working on, on, uh, on specific details. We, we think that we can, we can uh, arrive into uh, a, a positive conclusion by tomorrow. We are changing ideas. So there have been some friendly... In that, in that, in that we can talk. We are the Sana Airport is, is, is a very attractive uh, proposal that the government uh, put forward. We accepted that we'll have uh, the, the Sana Airport open uh, for operations, but, uh, but as a domestic uh, flight. So every flight should fly to Aden, and from Aden we make all the arrangements for them to continue uh, international flights. We cannot uh, accept that the Houthis as uh, an non-state actor uh, to, to be uh, overlooking the process of, of, uh, of, uh, of, the, of, the, of the airport, because do you know there is a lot of international obligation that the, the government of Yemen should uh, look after before any process of, uh, of, 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 of accepting flights. Yeah, this is how they squeeze you into a cold uh, and, and into freezing weather so that you can, you can implement and you can achieve something. Uh, we think that this international pressure, your reports, will, 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 will put more pressure on the Houthis to have more uh, responsible reaction towards their, their mistakes and, 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 and thinking that mistakes and violations of humanitarian, uh, humanitarian law cannot be just left unsqueezed or unanswered.